Hi, today I would like to talk about the C sharp event pin handle synchronization primitive as I've highlighted. And the easiest way to uh, demonstrate, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, basically, uh, you can uh, initialize a new instance and you can say that it's not going to be signal. So I put in a false. And I'm also saying that the mode is auto reset. Basically, what it means is that once you set the signal, uh, it will be reset automatically. So only, uh, and the way it works is you set the signal and if somebody is waiting on it, they can uh, essentially acquire that and continue to do some work. But if somebody else was going to be there, they will have to wait. So uh, I have an event handle. Uh, whenever I get a button click, I'm going to set it, basically, which means that the event will be set. And uh, I just have a window here, which uh, when you click on the event WPF. And uh, another thing to uh, note is that this is an auto reset as I discussed. So here in my main window, after my component is initialized, all I'm going to do is run this in a separate thread, a method called init threads. And this is what this method is, init threads. And it's running in a separate uh, thread. And within uh, this init thread, I'm going to run a parallel for loop and I'll have five tasks. And it's going to have a thread name of 0 through 5, 0 through 4 an example. And within this, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to wait for this event handle. And whoever is able to acquire the event handle can essentially enter this and increment this uh, variable called number of tasks. And to increment this variable, end task I'm using a primitive called interlock. It basically allows it to do uh, an atomic uh, addition on this uh, reference variable number of tasks. So I don't have to worry about anything about synchronization at this point. I'm showing you a different synchronization primitive called interlock. But basically as far as the event handle is gone, only one thread will acquire the event handle and can uh, go in and come print working and thread name. So let's just get started and see uh, what happens uh, as you can see I on the output I don't really have anything and if I press the set signal it's going to set the signal uh, to one and then you can see the working thread one of the threads was able to enter and it's going to print that message working thread here working plus the thread number if I press again you can see the signal so another thread can enter then another thread can enter another thread can enter and I have five threads all of them have entered and then at the very end they can say done with all threads and uh, here you can see the message is coming here from done with all the threads so another thing I can demonstrate uh, for you is that if I didn't have this auto reset another option that I can use in event weight handle is called the manual reset and I'm going to select that and uh, rebuild this app and basically what it means is uh, once uh, you have the manual reset, the signal is set, it's not going to be reset. So even if one thread enters it, uh, the other threads can also see the signal being set and they can all essentially enter and start doing uh, uh, what you were planning to waiting on. So in this particular example, for example, since I have five threads uh, waiting on a signal, all of them will be able to go inside this loop and print this message and essentially uh, be done with all the threads because I have a manual reset that uh, I have to uh, essentially reset this signal uh, manually. So if I just see uh, this working here, if I say set signal, so the signal is set and all of the threads can essentially enter in this loop uh, where uh, they are because the signal is set, they all will go inside, print their messages and done with all the threads. So then you can see how you can use event weight handles to essentially synchronize between unrelated threads or any other threads. This is a much more powerful primitive than the, the uh, thread join. Thread join you can essentially uh, use uh, when you are trying to see if one thread has finished and you can uh, kind of wait for it to finish in some other thread. But this can essentially be use for inter-thread communication in terms of signaling and waiting. If you want to know more about these or other subjects, uh, you can essentially go to my website Gaur Associates and search uh, for these and other videos. Hopefully you found this uh, uh, very useful and thank you for your time.